So we've got a few of us down here this morning. We've got Rachel here. She's going to be my assistant. She's going to be my point B. <laughs> so we would like to showcase some video today of George going from point A to point B, just to show you guys how he can do that. He's pretty good. He's pretty good at doing the person to person thing now, but we haven't really had a chance to video it. Rachel's going to walk away. Try and place him away from me when you walk away. Because otherwise he's just going to jump straight off. No, he won't. Okay, turn around and make sure the lead is on. No! Oh, we're having an explorer. Come on, straight away. Come on, come on. Good boy. I knew you had energy in you. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we're gonna end the session there. We're pretty, pretty tired. Uh, he's pretty tired. We'll go home and have some, have some water, get him to have some water and some breakfast and we'll be good. Hey buddy. From my post yesterday, some of you guys might have realized I am not putting in as much footage anymore of what we're actually doing step by step. I know there's heaps of people that would love to troll the internet and, and search for information on free flight before they commit to it. I know I was one of those people and I think that's a really good thing. It's really important if you would like to free fly your parrot that you search out a qualified professional that can coach you step by step through it for a couple of reasons. Number one, every bird is individual and they need individual help and treatment for how to do this journey. Two, there's different styles of free fly or liberty flight and you know different styles might suit different types of people no style is right or wrong so you guys have got to decide for yourself what style is going to suit you three it's really important that you're not chopping and changing between all the styles and adapting it to your own style because that doesn't work the styles work completely independently of each other and it's really important that when you pick a style that you would like to learn that you need to commit to that style and follow through all the way through so me personally I'm working I've chosen to work with bird tricks so uh, David and Jamie Lee Walmack and I found for myself and for George that that's going to be a really good that's going to be a really good way of, of proceeding for me I feel like that will suit me and it'll suit what I would like to do with George um, so yeah everyone's individual do your research on the different types of trainers there are and different training styles and choose one that suits you guys but definitely if you want to do this thing you need to absolutely commit to you know getting yourself some professional help don't just try and do it on your own um, because there's too many accidents that can happen there's too many 
too many issues you might come across that you need to troubleshoot and if you don't have a coach then you don't have anyone to ask questions um you know because i think if you go through the stage that you decide you're going to just ask that question on the internet in a group you're going to get hundreds of different types of answers and you may not know which answer is actually going to suit you and your situation so i think it is really important to choose a style choose some professionals that can help you with that style and stick with it um yeah so that's all i can say i will see you guys next time stop chewing my hat okay bye